Is this something over something or just the something? The something, just the something. Then we take the LCD, we multiply it on every single fraction. So here, x times x minus 1. And here, x times x minus 1. And here, x times x minus 1. And this is the cool part. Because we have an equation, you can do this. It's multiplying both sides by the same expression. That's legal to do with equations. That just means multiply every single term by the same expression. In this case, the LCD, x times x minus 1. And then cancel stuff out. That's the best part. Because we get to eliminate all of our denominators. If you do this and you still have denominators, you've done something wrong. You should eliminate all of them. Uh, let's work on the easy side first. What happens over here? What are we going to get out of this whole thing? Five. That's great. I love that. I love five. Five. Yeah. It's gone. How about over here, ladies and gentlemen? What do I simplify out of this expression? X minus one. Now, slow down. Be careful. What do I have over here? Two x squared. Where are you getting the square? Because it's two x times x. Okay. So I do have the x. I'm going to write it out so you see where that's coming from. We have the x, we have the 2x. Then I'm going to have a minus sign. I'm going to have a minus sign. And I do not, just like in chapter 7, I do not want you to distribute this in your head. Not right now. Because what you have up here, after you simplify your, you see your x's, right? You see your x's. What do you have up here is, what, what do you have? What's the one? X minus 1. Okay, I like it. What else? Parentheses. Uh huh. X plus two. Okay, by a show of hands, how many people feel okay getting down to that far, ladies and gentlemen? Good deal. I hope so, because that's that's old stuff, right? Listen, if you're if you're not really watching here, this is one of those things where you're, you're going to make a mistake on a test if you're not. I'm going to give you one of these on a test, just like this. But if you're not really watching, you're going to make a mistake here. This one, everyone's going to be getting 2x squared. That's not the problem. But I need you to really trust me on this thing. This, you're going to want to do it a certain way. Here's how you're going to want to do it. You're going to want to put a bracket around this. Now, here's why. When you are looking at this, this is subtracting this entire expression that's being multiplied, correct? Mm -hmm. So what this is doing, this is going to be subtracting this thing. Check it out. Look at the board here real quick. You're going to get x squared, right? You're going to get plus 2x minus x. That's plus x. Do you follow the plus x? And then you're going to get minus 2. Yes? If you don't have parentheses, if you don't have that big bracket, if you don't have that big bracket, that's what you get, right? However, think about it. You're subtracting this whole expression. What's that going to do to all these signs? Change. It's going to change every sign. You need to have that bracket down. Do you see it? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's important. That's really important why you need this. It's subtracting this whole expression. Don't distribute in your head. You're never going to get it. You've got to make sure you write that out. Make sure you have a bracket around it. That negative is going to distribute and change all of those signs. Minus x squared. But then look at it. It's going to be minus x. And it's going to be plus 2 equals 5. Give a little head nod if you're okay on that one. That's the biggest point of probably today, and that's old stuff, but I need to make sure you, you really get that. Okay, continue on. What are we going to do now? Yeah, now we have some like terms. I see an x squared and an x squared here, so I'm going to get how much? Minus x plus 2 equals 5. True or false? Right now I should try to factor. True or false? No, we've actually done... Uh, we're working on step two. In step one, we couldn't do that. But step two, we're going to try to make this a squared plus bx plus c equals zero. The last thing we need to do is what? So x squared minus x minus three equals zero. That's how I want to see it. We get everything on one side. We have zero on the other side. This allows us to either a factor or b do quadratic formula. We don't want to do completing the square. It takes too long. So, the first thing you're going to try to do is, what is it? Try to factor. Well, I want you to spend 10 seconds, don't say anything, spend 10 seconds trying to factor it. It's a good habit to get into. Negative 1, negative 3, trying to add to negative 1 and multiply to 
negative three. Can you think of anything? No. No, I can't either. Because the two and the one, that, that's going to multiply to two. That doesn't really work. So if we cannot factor, what are you going to do? Okay, so A, folks, is how much? One. Everybody, B is how much? One. That's not everybody. Come on, play long. You have one. Oh, good. You played long twice. How about C? <laughs> So recapping, hey, look at this is old stuff. Using LCD to get rid of fractions, old stuff. This using parentheses, that's old stuff. I don't know if I showed that to you a long time ago, but this is technically old stuff. Put a bracket around it, distribute it. Do you see the reason for the bracket, folks? Yep. Mm -hmm. You need to have that bracket because it is going to change every sign. Then combine like terms, get everything on one side, zero on the other side, try to factor it, it didn't work. Use your A, B, and C to set up the quadratic formula. We're going to go through this kind of quickly. The quadratic formula says x equals negative b plus or minus radical b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2a. You set up the quadratic formula by not doing anything in your head. You simply plug in numbers. So the quadratic formula, hopefully you memorize that. It's negative b plus or minus radical b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2 times a. How many people have memorized the quadratic formula? Good for you. Did the song help you? No. no. I heard some of you humming it. You're going to be humming it in a while. Then you start doing some math. No math here, just plugging in the quadratic formula. Negative negative 1 is 1. Plus or minus the square root of negative 1 squared is 1. Then you have minus negative 12. Do you see that we have minus negative 12? We don't just have minus 12. That's, that's a sign error I was talking about earlier. Over 2, we get x equals 1 plus or minus the square root 1 minus negative 12. How much is that? 12. Oh, <laughs> We're adding, right? One plus two. Trust me, if you if you struggle with this, use your calculator. It will do that for you. Okay, it's fine. Can you simplify any of that? Can you simplify any of that? No. So the only thing I want you to do, write your two solutions. You have one plus root thirteen over two, one minus root thirteen over two. That's as good as we can do. How many people feel okay with, with this right here? Okay, we're going to do, uh, I'll let you do one on your own here real quick. And we'll end there today. Actually, do you need one of these on your own or do you feel okay with it? Seriously? You know what? Actually, the one I'm going to give you is exactly the same. So I'm not going to give you another one. That would be, be a waste of time, uh, honestly. Uh, I think, it, check that one out again. Just make sure this is, this is the key part. The bracket right there, I've said like five time, 500 times already. But the bracket right there is a the key part. Use your LCD. Uh, make sure that we, we multiply everything by the LCD and then use your bracket before you distribute. Okay, here's the one we're going to do. Wait a second. Is that a quadratic? No. no. Why not? Well, it's not x squared. X to the fourth. X to the fourth. Yeah, that's not x squared. So you, you might think, well, wait a second, Mr. Leonard. That doesn't look like anything what we've been talking about so far. You're right, it doesn't. However, here's what we're going to do. We are going to trick this problem into thinking that it's a quadratic. Okay, we're going to trick it. You know you trick math problems, did you? <laughs> you silly little math problem, I'm tricky right now. <laughs> Here's the idea. Whenever you have something here and something here, what, what you're going to try to write is this thing as this thing squared. You're going to be making a substitution.
I'll explain that again because I saw some very confused books out there. When you look at a problem like this and it's not already a quadratic, if you have a quadratic, it's great. You know what to do with that. You, you take a, a square root if you have something equals a number. Or you use factoring or use quadratic formula. If not, if you have something weird looking like this, you're going to look right here at the middle term. What you're going to try to do is write this term as your middle term squared. So for instance, is this, this thing to the second power? Mm -hmm. X squared squared. Is that the same thing as X to the yeah. fourth? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. And you're going to put your middle thing in parentheses. Are you still okay? Now yeah, you might be more why why? Why would you why are we gonna do that? Well check it out. If I can write, you, you believe me that this is x squared squared, right? Mm -hmm. And now you have the same thing here and the same thing here, only this thing is to the second power. Mm -hmm. Second power. You you with me folks? Mm -hmm. Here's what you do. Whenever you can do that, and you have the same thing here and here, only this one's being squared and this one is not, which that's, that's the case. This one's being squared, that one's not. You can make a substitution. You just let this inside part equal some dummy variable, like y. Equal some dummy variable. In this case, here's what you can do. Wait, instead of x squared, what am I going to put? Y. y. Let's put y. What we did here is we translated this into, well, some expression and some expression squared. Then we let a dummy variable take the place of that. So instead of x squared, I can put, what was it again? Y. This would be y to the what power? Minus 5, Minus five times what? Y squared. Minus 36. Mm -hmm. Check it out. Instead of x squared, I'm going to write y. Instead of x squared, I'm going to write y. So instead of x squared, I write, instead of x squared squared, I'm going to write y squared. Raise your hand if you can follow that. Feel okay with it. All right. Why would we do that? No pun intended. Why would we do this? Is that a quadratic now? Could you factor that? You could try. Could you use quadratic formula on that? Sure. Actually, that one's factorable. Spend 10 seconds factoring this. Just do me one favor. What, please watch on the board right here. When you factor this, you can. You're going to get 9 and 4. When you factor this, are you going to have x? No. no. What, what variable are you talking about? Y minus. Ah. You actually have y minus 9 and y plus 4. So y minus 9 equals 0 and y plus 4 equals 0. So y equals 9 and y equals negative 4. Now wait a second, this is the last thing I'll leave you with here. What was our original variable? x squared. No, it wasn't x squared. Our original variable was x. x. The original variable is x. It just happens to be squared into the fourth power there, right? What do we end with? Y. That's a problem. Here's why it's a problem. What's the largest power in your polynomial up there? Four. That means you should have how many solutions? Four. You should have four solutions. How many do we have? Two. Two. You're not done yet. You start with x's, make sure if we translate it to y's, you need to translate back to x's. So in, in other words, let's check it out. 